Being a professional home organizer, I deal mainly with two types of people. The first type are people who don't really have an excess amount of things, but rather they don't really have good systems in place to be able to utilize their items and kind of function on a day-to-day -day basis with ease, right? So they still have a little bit of chaos in their life, but it's not necessarily due to an excess amount of items in their home. The second group, however, are people who pretty much have kind of, they're kind of bursting at the seams, right? In their house, they are maxed out. Ma you know, they are living to capacity with their items and they are so many times feeling very, very overwhelmed with their number of things, right? So if you are kind of falling in that second group or you know someone who is, this video is for you. Here's how to clear your clutter when you are feeling overwhelmed by your things. Number one is you are going to take a break from buying. Pause your purchasing, however you wanna say it, but you are only going to be buying the necessities, right? Food and water, you know, that sort of thing not this excess stuff. So I see so many people that fall into the trap of buying in bulk, right? So I get it. We go to those types of stores too. However, you can only buy as much as your home can tolerate. Otherwise you will go back to living with so many things that you feel overwhelmed, right? So only buying in bulk, if you have a place for it, I'll get to more of that in a little bit, but so you are going to take a pause from purchasing, a break from buying. You are not buying extra stuff, even if you see a good deal. I know at this point, like there's certain things on my radar when I like, I'm thinking of things I'm gonna buy. I kind of know that they're gonna come up for sale again, right? There are major holidays where things go up for sale. There's just different times for, you know, if you follow a company for a while, you kind of can follow their sale cycles. <laughs> so you know that these things will come on sale again. So don't get so wrapped up in, oh my gosh, this is the greatest price it'll ever be. If you don't have a place for it, then it's not gonna serve you anyways. And it's just going to add frustration to your life. The same thing with food, right? So again, with like the bulk stuff, if you are bursting at your seams, I throw away so much expired food at people's homes because they have so much of it, they don't even realize what they have and they're not using what they have. And I hate to see that, okay? So that's tip number one. Okay, tip, tip number two, if you do have to buy something, you need to know where it's going to go, okay? If it's a new shirt, then, you know, do you have room in your closet for it? If it is more food items or more kitchen items, you need to know where that item is going to live. Don't just buy an end table and then because it's on sale and then think, well, I don't really have a place to put it, but I really liked it, you know, something like that. Know where it's going to go. And this is good even when you have the clutter under control. This is just a good rule of thumb, okay? Number three, the third tip is, and it kind of goes along those lines, when you do bring something into your home, have a one, at, one in, two or three out rule. This means, and this is, that's gonna depend on the, the amount of things that you have, right? So right now, if you have to buy something and you have a lot of clutter in your house, you have a lot of items in your house, you're trying to downsize more, get rid of those things, you're probably going to, if you have to buy one thing, you need to get rid of three things. You have one item coming into your home, three items are leaving your home. As you get it more under control, you can transition to more of a one-to-one -one rule. You bring one t-shirt in, one t-shirt goes out. But again, it's just gonna depend on the amount of things that you have, the amount of space for those things, right? I have one client who goes crazy for hats and as it's maxed out, right? My husband is the same way, crazy for hats. And he's pretty much maxed out in his space. So right now he buys a hat and it's usually one in, two out. Okay, we're getting rid of those hats that no longer serve us. They're dirty, they're yucky, don't wear them anymore, out of style, whatever, what have you. So we're just kind of replacing what we have. We're not adding to it, if you will. And the fourth and final tip is seek help. If, if you are still so overwhelmed, I know these are just basic kind of high point tips 
that they will get you started, right? It's gonna get you started with clearing that clutter and may, hopefully making you see your clutter in a different way and kind of seeing it as a more manageable thing moving forward. But there is no shame in getting help. Hire someone like myself. I also do, you know, if you don't live in the Tallahassee area, I do virtual consulting help. I have so many people, it's such a blessing because I truly feel like I get to help change people's lives and help improve their lives. It's such a blessing and I'm so happy to be able to do it. So don't be ashamed of trying to get some help. Reach out to me with any questions or comments about any of the process of you know hiring someone or any of this. If you have any questions about it, if you have a specific question about a specific clutter pain point in your home, let me know. If you have that problem, other people probably do as well and I'm always happy to talk about it. Another person to seek help with, if you truly feel like maybe you have a purchasing, a buying addiction, seeking help from a therapist, you can never go wrong there, right? get some help from a professional in that manner to kind of help you understand the reasons why sometimes why you're purchasing things, right? Sometimes it's not just out of necessity, but it's to fill a different void. It's it's all sorts of things. So I would highly 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 recommend looking into that avenue if you think that that's more of a concern for you. I hope that this helps you especially as we go into the last part of the year, right? During the holiday times, we end up getting so many things, right? Gifts are just just random, you know, random things. With the holidays, we just accumulate more, right? So don't wait until the new year to start dealing with this stuff. Have a plan in place, start tackling it now so that you're in a better place when you go into the holiday gift giving season, right? You don't have to wait until the new year. It's a new moment, it's a new opportunity right now. Start right now. I wish you the best of luck, like I said, and like I always say, let me know if you have any questions or comments. Please subscribe so you never miss a thing. Share this video with, with those that you think would benefit from it, and I will talk to you guys soon.